is in order to do this entire, I should, I should put this at the front <laughs> actually now that I'm realizing it because to be able to do any of these tasks, you have to have already participated. Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, I'm going to show you one of the two best ways currently that you can prepare yourself for potentially getting the Arbitrum airdrop down the line. Basically, I'm going to go through this good thread that Olympio Crypto did earlier. So I'll just go through it here because it's just like the quickest way of basically explaining how this works. Arbitrum re recently published a series of on-chain quests. I think this is the best chance of getting an RB airdrop besides the Odyssey, and we'll explain what that is in a minute, which is coming soon. So how to prepare. But let's explain what the Odyssey is. There's no official date for it to resume, but Nitro is coming, which is essentially the upgrade they had to do because there was such overwhelming network demand of people trying to get these Odyssey NFTs. A Nitro upgrade's coming at the end of the month, uh, and Odyssey will resume shortly after. The Nitro is a new version of Arbitrum faster, more efficient. To recap, the NFTs for Odyssey so far is that there's been a week one. So the NFT one, which is Enter the Odyssey, which you can still claim, was basically if you just bridged basically any amount to Arbitrum, you're able to claim this NFT on Arbitrum and then another one was the Hop Protocol which is the second NFT that you could claim and that was on Polygon and that was if you use the Hop Bridge which was the number one most used bridge which is why people got an NFT for that. I have a few threads on Odyssey but it's under consensus that it's probably one of the best ways to potentially qualify yourself for an Arbitrum airdrop which is an L2 on Ethereum if you don't know and for reference the Optimism OP airdrop was worth 400 to 1200 dollars on the low end for doing the minimum and all the way up to like 40k if you did like every task fully per wallet right so in my opinion arbitrum has a lot more going forward in terms of protocols that are actively working on it sentiment stuff like gmx a lot more products on there that people use so yeah i think arbitrum has a lot going forward basically the the tldr is that it could be worth as much or more than the optimism airdrop and it's not that hard to do to qualify for this stuff you just need some time and patience and know how to do some like basic cross chain so that was for week one for week two basically you had the next two protocols you had to interact with was gmx and yield but um both of those aren't actually claimable yet because they actually paused week two like on the second day because of the overwhelming demand and we're still waiting to get started again many links to the thread i also have threads on week one and two of how to do the odyssey um i'll leave that in the description but to be frank olympio basically just does better versions of the threads i do to be honest uh like he's it's hard to beat like he's really quick and he's really good at writing condensed info so that's odyssey that's one of the two main things that you can do to qualify so let's talk about the second one which is what this thread is about i'm going to talk about guilds which is a platform that gives you discord roles for doing certain on-chain requirements so it's a platform similar to rabbit hole you can get rewards by completing tasks not in, it doesn't have to be on chain arbitrum recently published 10 on-chain quests that also grant you a role in their discord in the event of an airdrop there's a high probability that your on-chain activity is what determines your eligibility for the rb which is the token airdrop so that's referring to more of the odyssey and protocols you have to interact with to get the nfts also the thing with odyssey is there's going to be 14 nfts and the idea is you is 14 or 16 and if you get like all of them except for two you get like an extra one so the idea is to basically get as many as you can do the tasks every week when the odyssey resumes and then get those nfts and that should hopefully qualify you more likely for an airdrop obviously you no one knows because that's how airdrops work basically if everyone knew what the what you had to do to get the airdrop ahead of time like that it, it doesn't make sense and it's uh, easy to game, game the system, you know, manipulate that incentive. But basically, he's going to show you what to do. So I'm going to show you what to do from here. So basically, you're going to look up Arbitrum, you know, go to the actual thing, go to their Discord, um, you know, find their actual Discord in their links right here. And you go to their Discord and then... You're going to click the skill, get through the bot. Uh, I, I'm saying that because I clicked all the other stuff first and didn't read this little part. So save you a bit of time there. And then you're going to click this to like start the quest for the bot. And then it's going to give you a link. And then that's going to bring you to guild.xyz slash Arbitrum. And then this is what you're going to do to basically do your quest. So you're basically going to tie a Discord account to a wallet address that you're signing with this site. And then you're going to do the minimum requirements here. 
to get each of these rolls essentially and it's really easy to do all this and that's new actually so that's interesting i guess the other big thing to notice for um, a lot of these tasks all you have to do is own a very small amount of that specific token 0.001 right you don't have to own the nfts which would be a lot more expensive so like that's good too right it's it basically takes five dollars worth of gas in tokens or less to basically fulfill all these requirements so that's why i think it's just kind of a no-brainer if you are willing to spend the time we're going to do the first thing here which is join guild to get roles then you got to connect your wallet to the site and here we'll pick metamask so uh i want to point this out because this could be something that people fall into this is this wallet is not the wallet address i have right now it's the last wallet address that was signed into this site this wallet actually isn't connected this one is well this i actually have to connect this wallet and you got to check this and make sure it's connected and you can disconnect these if you want so that's just if, if you're not newer you're obviously going to know that but that can get a lot of people tripped up because they're picking what they think is the right wallet in metamask but it's not actually connected to the site they're interacting with so that confuses them a lot so that's something to look out for and then as we can see here the right wallet is actually connected here so we're going to verify it so it's going to ask for a signature this isn't a, a type of transaction that costs gas so it's not you know you're not signing a set of approval for all which you should be very wary of if you're ever doing it's just a signature and this is basically to verify that this wallet is actually the one interacting with this site and that's basically like how you log into the wallet and like you'll see this across different sites for phantom galaxies for example you have to sign in with the wallet that has the halberd nft so you can get access to the game the other thing that's really interesting that why i believe what olympio crypto says here about this being the second best way to potentially get the airdrop is this first part here is in order to do this entire I should I should put this at the front <laughs> actually now that I'm realizing it because to be able to do any of these tasks you have to have already participated in the Odyssey on that first week which was like a month ago you would have had to bridge funds to Arbitrum within that week time period so the fact that you need that prerequisite to be able to participate in the rest of all this other stuff is uh, super interesting to me because it's like layered access, right? They're making the airdrops harder and harder to get because they're too easy to game, they're too easy to farm, and they want to try and filter it as much as possible to get like more real users. That's why the people who did all those tasks on Optimism over the course of like a year got such a significantly larger airdrop compared to just bridging once and swapping once and then never touching it, right? So airdrops in the future, I think are going to be harder to game, be more layered, more competitive, which is good because that can potentially make them more valuable. One of the trickier ones first. So for the hop one, you have to have 0.01 of the lp pair basically you're providing liquidity for the bridge you go to hop hop protocol app.hop.exchange and then you're going to go to the pool part and then you're going to add liquidity and then you're going to pick usdc on arbitrum or a stable coin or whatever you only need 0 0.01 of that lp so for me i would put like 0.1 you just need to put 0.1 worth and then add the liquidity and then you will get 0.1 basically of this pair and then after like a minute if it's in your wallet it will show you have it. So for all these swaps, we're basically going to be doing it on Uniswap or SushiSwap. When you go to the site, you can change your network to Arbitrum. And then if you don't have it in your MetaMask already, it should add it for you. It's pretty easy to add networks to MetaMask. You can easily Google that. So the first one is 0 0.001 magic. To find the token, just search it into Uniswap. If it doesn't show up, search up that token on either CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap and then get the contract address for it and then copy that and then paste that into Uniswap because some of these tokens here are not going to show up by default if you just search them. And some of them, um, you can only swap on Sushi Swap because there's no liquidity pools on Uniswap for them. So, that, like the example would be the Jones Dow one. You have to buy on Sushi, but we'll get to that in a minute. And I like to buy just above the required amount. And you can see it only costs this much in ETH, and it's basically going to cost 20 cents per transaction fee. So times that by 10, you're spending about two dollars, probably maybe a bit more in transaction fees for doing all these swaps for these requirements. And then you see here it updated itself like 10 seconds later it was fast that time and then we're just going to basically go through all of these and then just buy the minimum amount that it says here just buy it either on sushi or uni and if the token doesn't show up when you search it just uh find the contract i'm not going to show myself swapping them all because this video is already long enough uh just another thing to note is that they're not all 0.001 for uh some of them are a bit different like for dopex or dpx it's 0001 so three zeros instead of two 
and for the SPA, and this is a newer one, it's 0 0.01, right? So not the, the normal 0, 0, 001 that you see for a majority of them. So just something to note there. All these tasks are obviously done on Arbitrum, by, by the way. If you don't know how to bridge funds onto Arbitrum, um, it's fairly simple. Uh, you are either going to have to use a cross-chain bridge. The three biggest ones are Synapse, Hot Protocol, and Connexit. A lot of people use those and they like those, so you can use that. Or you can withdraw directly from one of the big exchanges, um, so like Binance, Coinbase, KuCoin. Yeah, and there's lots of other good content on how to do that. I might make some myself. There's demand for that, but yeah, you need funds on Arbitrum to be able to do any of this, obviously. Also, if you, Plutus is another example. It's not uh, showing up when I'm searching for it, so you can actually view it on the Explorer, the Arbitrum Explorer there. It gives you a link. The contract address is there. You can copy that, add that to your clipboard, and then paste that into Uniswap, and then that will show up there. And this is how you add any token via contract address if it doesn't show up when you search for it, which happens a lot more than you think. Then all the tasks you can do. Before there was 10, now there's 11. This last one I don't I don't want to do. I don't think you need to do. Um, it's connecting a Twitter to the account. So basically now that you've done all that, you're going to join the guild to get the roles. You've connected your Discord. Connected your Discord by signing in here and going to the start here and then using the guild bot link and then tying that to this wallet you don't have to tie a twitter then you're going to join the guild had to wait a bit and then it signed all my rules for doing all the tasks and that's everything so we'll just quickly go over why are you doing all these steps like why are you tying your discord right it's it's about the airdrops are becoming more engagement focused and trying to target more humans rather than bots by just making it harder to game basically right they're making you tie one discord account to one wallet specific actions to get roles that you can only get if you've done previous things before that right so it's just something you should do if you have the time it's not super difficult one discord per wallet so extrapolate that how you will and yeah i hope you found this info insightful follow me on twitter um when odyssey event goes live i'll be tweeting about that there's gonna be eight weeks week two is gonna be starting probably in a month or so i'll post uh some threads to the odyssey for week two and other stuff uh in the description below so you can get yourself set up and start participating on this because you can do this now right and the nitro is being released tomorrow so the odyssey is coming soon right and then when that happens you don't want to you want to have your funds already on arbitrum and ready to go right so something to keep in mind hopefully that was helpful and insightful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one